Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on a real plot. Real plot shows the statistical relationship between two variables and it uses scatter plot or line plot. You probably know the scatter plot and right plot, sorry, line plot individually, but in this video we will see how real plot uses them. Okay, so first import Seaborn as SNS and import matplotlib.pi.plot as plt. We are going to use the famous Titanic dataset. Okay, we can load it using this code Titanic. Okay, now time. So this is how it shows survived P class, P class, sex, that means gender, male or female, age, and all the other stuff. So I'm not going to use all these uh, variables, but I will use some. Let's see what we can do. So first, as an SNS dot real cloud, I'm going to do the most basic one. Data equals to type x in x direction. I will put age in y direction. I will put fair. This is the most basic one. If you do not use any kind, what if you do not specify what kind of plot you want, by default it will show you a scatter plot. Okay. So this is the most basic real plot that shows actually scatter plot. Okay, next, I will use a hue parameter. Hue, I will use uh, live. Okay, you can see alive if the passenger was alive or not. I'm going to use that. Here you see alive, yes or no, and we have blue and orange dots to represent that. All right, the next I want to use a column parameter, so P class. So we have three different P class here one, two, and three, passenger class one, two, and three. So it is going to show you three different plots for three different P class. Here it is passenger class one, two, and three. Look. Here you can see the relationship between age and fare really change, right? Really changes over the passenger classes. If you want, you can change the uh, GHT I4 aspect 0 0.8. So maybe it shows a little clearer if you change the size. Uh, feel free to try different sizes. Okay, so here I was using a column. Now I will use a row as well. For row, I will use um, maybe embark town. You can see here we have three different embark towns. Okay, here we have rows and columns. So we have columns for passenger class. So this is passenger class one. And for rows, we have three different rows for three different Embark town. So first one, we have one. And second one, we have passenger class one, two, and three for a different Embark town. And third one, we have passenger class one, two, and three for another, the third Embark town. Okay. Let's take it. And I will add one more thing to it that is uh, style. Style, I will use the gender. Okay, so if you can see, we have uh, for male and female, we have different kind of uh, dots. Sorry, one is dot, another is cross. Okay, so male is dot and female is cross. So we have different. It became too big and too many uh, stuff. I will probably take off one for now because it's even hard to see in this parameter, but you can definitely use it if you need it in your presentation. So I'm not using role anymore. Uh, I'm only using class only because so that you can see the whole plot here. All right. Now, 
here all I'm showing was uh, the scalar plot. Now, if I want a line plot, I just have to add a kind parameter, kind line. It's taking time. Here it is. So we have line plots showing everything as usual, but instead of dots, instead of scalar plot, we have line plots. Okay. I think we should work on line plot a little more detail. So data ti. And then I will take X and Y parameter as usual. So you can see the most basic line plot. Yes, this, oh, sorry, I didn't use the kind parameter here. Kind line. So here it is, the most basic line plot. You can see it shows a line and a confidence band. Do you see though, in the, across the whole line, it shows the confidence band. If you want to avoid it, if you do not want this confidence band, you can simply avoid it like this. Okay, now you have a plain uh, line. And as you can see here, you can use all these parameters extra one by one. Uh, as I did in scalar plot, all these parameters can be used. But I will show you just simple that a simple thing few that you can use in line plot that is like I will use the hue hue gender okay dashes true and I will use a style parameter I will use style also as this hue parameter you can use a different different one too here it is okay I, I use the style also if you want you can use different marker okay markers true if you use different markers so you can see that we have dot and cross separate markers for individual uh, points so uh, this is some few extra thing you can use in line plot that I wanted to show you also as I said, if you wanted, uh, you could use a different parameter here. Sorry, not not here. Style, or also in hue, whatever you wanted. Probably style and hue. It doesn't have to be the same uh, thing, same variable. If we do it, so it becomes a little too busy because sometimes. Uh, data is so scattered uh, uh, you know, when you put in line plot so many different variables it really doesn't make too much sense because it becomes too busy but if you have data that's not too busy you can definitely do that so i kind of use the same thing so it's clear okay just the style just includes one extra style element not a different variable that makes it too busy okay so one thing I wanted to show you, uh, that one last thing, for that I need a different data set. Data set, uh, flight, okay? Flight, so we have here, load, oh sorry, it's probably the flights, here. Year, month, and passengers, okay? I will use the pivot, uh, fl dot pivot, Okay, year, month, passengers. So, mm, year, month, passengers. Okay, yes. Here it is. It almost looks like a heat map, isn't it? Okay, now I will use real plot on it. Real plot data fl <clears throat> kind line. Uh, okay. Oh no, not fl. There's a p actually. I made pivot table here. I want I wanted to use p. Yeah. So here it is, uh, and you can see we have different lines for different months 
and it shows over the years how different months for different months the number of passengers grew up right so i really think uh, this is a very useful plot because um, i mean here is showing this flight one sometimes in financial data you will, you will find the same similar kind of data in stock data you will find similar kind of data and this kind of plot really can be pretty helpful okay i found this plot actually directly in seaborne library's uh, documentation for a real plot so i thought it's pretty cool so i wanted to show it here as, as well okay I hope you really enjoyed this video and this video was helpful for you. If, if so, please like, comment, share and subscribe and you will find all the code of this video in the description box below. Okay, uh, sorry, I put a link uh, to the code because I am uploading this page in the GitHub so, so that you can see the page. Alright, see you soon. Thanks for watching.